Uh, it's my pleasure now to introduce Monica de Grief. Monica de Grief, Chamber of Commerce, Colombia, a board member of the Compact, a champion in many courses. Monica, please. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this session. I am pleased to share with you how the Bogota Chamber of Commerce, the main chamber of commerce in Colombia, makes a commitment to promoting the private sector a culture of peace with legality and transparency as a contribution to sustainable development. We work in three main fields to strengthen good governance in companies according to our own context and priorities. We are contributing to define the role of the private sector in peace building. We are promoting a culture of legality based on anti-corruption practices and transparency. And we have been supporting the rule of law in business operations and relationships in collaboration with our government. All of these actions not only support principles of the Global Compact, but also have a big impact in the post-2015 uh, agenda. Due to the peace negotiations that are taking place in Colombia, we have decided to know deeply what the business think about uh, making peace or what's going on with the peace talks and in peace building, the complex process to solve problems, rebuild and reconcile our nation in a common effort from all sectors such as government, civil society, academia, and the role of the private sector. Last September, we conducted a survey to more than 1,000 businesses in order to know their expectations about the, be the peace process that is taking place. Only 55 agree with the ongoing peace talks in Havana, while 45 disagree but 85% consider the peace building will contribute to increase international direct investment in Colombia, and 75% of the business leader consider that it would promote a higher economic growth, and 55 think it will really reduce poverty. We have just finished a new survey whose results will be available by the end of this month. We have developed a guidance to work on the peace building process, and we have collected good business experiences in Colombia in partnership with national and international organizations that are familiar with this topic. We are the Technical Secretariat of Business for Peace in Colombia. In this role, we have promoted networking among companies to share their experiences, establish alliances to strengthen work in all regions of the country, and align the business leaders with the best practices and public uh, policies. Looking for innovative solution in peace challenges, we carried out our first peace startup in the world in association with Business Human Rights, Value for Change, Movistar, USAID, Peace Nexus Foundation, and the United Nations. Winners propose solutions for demeaning and to promote income opportunities for conflict victims. In addition, we decided to actively involve our, our organization in peace building process. Since last year, we are hiring people in the process of social reintegration and provide a companion in the pre-hiring phase and during the adaptation process. In the Chamber of Commerce, we are convinced that it is necessary to promote a culture of legality in the development of business activity based on a risk management approach and joint work with the authorities. Because of that, we exercise the Secretariat of the Working Group of the Tenth Principle that promotes transparency and fights anti-corruption, fights corruption. The Bogota Chamber of Commerce has become a supporter of the call of action, anti-corruption, and the global development agenda. We produce in conjunction with the UNODC an anti-corruption guide for companies to have a better understanding of anti-corruption and share back best practices. Our purpose of promoting a culture of legality goes hand to hand with respect and observance of law as a fundamental principle of operation in companies. Therefore, in our Center of Commercial Arbitration and Conciliation, we promote alternative methods of dispute settlement between enterprises as a way to ensure access to justice. 
We also implemented a no-cost line of arbitration with purpose of, of allowing micro, small, and medium enterprises to have the ability to solve their culture through arbitration under the premise that, that a company is more productive when it has the capacity of solving its conflict in a very effective way. Having a permanent exchange with global initiatives such as the Global Compact and platforms has enabled us to strengthen our actions to have a reference about the work done elsewhere in the world. This relationship has been very successful and useful for us in order to build up culture of peace with legality, transparency in the private sector. Thank you very much. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. Many of us can testify to the enormous progress that is made through the great work of leadership in a challenging environment.